Hello beautiful and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're gonna play with this eyeshadow palette. This eyeshadow palette, I had it in my shop, my stash for this week. And it's a beautiful one. It's from Violet Vod, it's called Essentials. And this is how it looks inside. And I create these two beautiful looks that I see on my eyes today for you. Don't forget to subscribe, you're on a long way to 1000 subscribers and please don't forget we do have our giveaway still going on so if you still want to enter it you can do so check the description bar to see how you do that now let's watch how i create these two eye looks all right let's proceed i already prepped my eyes and did my brows because i need to have my brows done before i start putting eyeshadow on so we are ready. First, I'm going to do an eye look that is more suitable for daytime. And then we're going to go ahead and do one that is a little bit more nighttime. So we're going to start with, we're going to start with Terracotta, this one right here. That is kind of like an um, orangey brown, I would say. So we're going to apply this one all over the eyelid. By the way, to prep my eyes, I just used the Juvia's Place Eye Prep Eye Primer, Eye Primer in shade 2. And we're just going to blend this in, get a big fluffy brush. Mine is from Morphe X Jaclyn Hill. This is GH30. And this one, it's nice because it's very, very easy for me to blend. So we're just gonna blend this one. We can go very, very close to the brow as well, but not all the way because I want to put under the brow a little bit more, something that illuminates that area. So we're gonna add this one all over. Just blend really nicely. It's not hard to blend, so you'll be okay. And then I'm gonna take sand and then I'm gonna Put that one over it as well but a little bit just a little bit lower a very very nice and easy look and i'm gonna take a dusty rose as well and just add that closer to the lash line And that way you get a bunch of like color display. Look how easy that was, right? Very, very simple. Then I'm gonna go and take this plum berry, which is that beautiful purple. And I'm just gonna add that one right at the end. Like I wanna make it look like it's a smudged liner just like that I'm taking a little bit closer to the lash line just to kind of give it all that fantasy right there and I'm gonna take another brush I'm gonna take this um, cream color, go right under the brow bone. And I'm gonna blend it. Take this pink one. I'm just gonna add that one more towards the lash, uh, more towards the inner portion of the eyelid. Just kind of do something a little bit and then bring it all the way in on the lid. And there you have it. That is really nice, beautiful, simple look for daytime. We're gonna do something really quick under the eye as well. But let's start 
the nighttime look. So, all right, so I cleaned this brush. So for nighttime look, we're gonna go with sand first because I want to make sure I set my eyelid. And then we're gonna dip in black. And we're just gonna add that one all over the eyelid. First I just press and then I start to blend in circular motion. And then I just move it across little by little. You see, whatever works for you better do that. For me, I do have some wrinkly eyes. So I have to make sure I do multiple motions, not just circular, not the, not just circular or uh, like wiper blade motion. I have to do a bunch of motions. I'm gonna clean a little bit this brush uh, so I can take a little bit of that black I don't want more of it and I just want to blend make sure I blend everything really nice okay so after we finish blending we're gonna go in with this emerald green but I want to take it mm, uh, what brush should I use for this one well, let's we we'll use this one right here this one is from uh, Laura de Los Angeles and this is in L19. So we're gonna take this emerald color and we're just gonna put this one right here on the lid. Look how beautiful that is. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna add a little bit more. Pack this on. And then to diffuse the black at on the top, I'm gonna take the sand color again with a different brush and just kind of lightly go above it. just like that and don't worry about this end because we're gonna clean it up when uh, we're gonna finish our face and then I'm gonna take this gold color right here I'm gonna add that one very close to uh, the inner corner and just a tiny bit under the brow bone um, I'm gonna show you how I usually clean for like a nice crisp color under my eye I usually like to take a q-tip spray a little bit of this ready set radiant skin mist tart but I usually use this one to take makeup off and here's what I do make sure I go straight I should like to take the the makeup off before I put them uh, full face because I want to make sure it doesn't look ugly underneath it and then I'm gonna go under this one too a little bit And there you go. All right, I'm gonna quickly go off camera and put my uh, foundation and all these things on. And we'll come back to do under the eyeliner and mascara. Be right back. And so we're gonna go with this black color that is called black. And we're gonna apply this one um, as a liner. We're gonna try to create a liner uh, from uh, on the pink look for the daytime look be careful you might get some uh, fallouts but I don't want something very 
I don't know. I don't want something very noticeable. I just want like a sheer look. You know what I mean? So I'll only go once or twice over it. I think that's pretty much all I want to do on for liner on this eye look. And then I'm going to take... Um, I'm gonna take terracotta and I'm gonna apply that one right uh, under the eyelid. Just like that. And then I'm gonna take the dusty rose and I'm taking on top of that the one I we use the black with. So I'm gonna take a little bit. And I'm just going to apply that closer to the lash line. And I'm going to take that uh, pink liner that we have in Shop My Stash this week. That is from Illuminati. And I'm going to throw a little bit of that in my waterline. And that is it for the daytime look. Like if you don't want that pink in your waterline, you can go without it. You know, you could do that. Now for this uh, eye, right? For this eye, I'm actually gonna take cinnamon with this brush. I'm just gonna go close to the lash line. And then I'm going to take black a little bit and just try to blend it out with this cinnamon color. Like that. And then I'm going to go with a liner black liner and my waterline i'm gonna do this one from essence which is the long lasting eye pencil so we're gonna we're gonna smoke the heck out of this look just like that and i'm gonna do a liner on the top as well i'm gonna go with the one that we have currently in shop my stash and I cannot find it oh it's right in front of me that's why uh it's this one from blink and this is in black all right so because I think it needs a little bit more this eye like it doesn't have enough uh i'm gonna take a little bit of the terracotta and i'm gonna apply a little bit of that on top of this black right here close to the end just to kind of warm up that black i don't know i just feel like it's a little bit too dark and then i'm just gonna blend and I'm going to take a little bit of that gold color as well and just kind of make sure it shows up a little bit more right here. I'm going to add mascara and I'm going to go with the... And I'm going to go with this one from Makeup Geek. And I'll come back to show you the final look. And here's how the two eye looks look like. This is sultry, sexy daytime. And this is real, sexy nighttime, green, <laughs> green magic look. So there you have it. These are the two looks that I've created for you today. Using this Violet Voss 
eyeshadow palette. Let me know if you want to see more looks like this using some really old uh, eyeshadow palettes or like eyeshadow palettes that I have currently in Shop My Stashes. Which by the way, next Shop My Stash is gonna be on my channel tomorrow night. Um, and I do want to do a Romanian say at the end for this video and that is Te Înnești Ca Țiganul La Mal. I'm gonna put in English what it means right here, but pretty much what that means when we say that is like you were doing just great up until now, like close to the end and that's when you fuck it, you're fucking it up, right? You're like, why are you doing this? Um, it's like you've been great and amazing until the last second and that's when you screw it up and that's what it means. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so, so much for being here today and I cannot wait to see you all next time with another video. Bye now.